Hello everyone, this is Larry Larcy and welcome to Photography Masterclass Magazine. This month I'm going to uh, show you a plugin from Topaz Labs called Simplify. And uh, this plugin's actually been out for a little while now, but it's something that I, I use a lot to get really cool, almost painterly type looks on images. So I just wanted to uh, kind of introduce you to it and, and show you how it works. And I've got a couple of different images here to work with. And um, maybe we'll start with this one right here. And uh, this is a, a good one, I think, to work with because it's got so much detail in it. I think you'll be able to uh, see a pretty drastic difference in this one as we work on it. So um, one thing I am going to suggest you do, and I wish this was something that happened automatically in Topaz, and um, uh, maybe someday this will happen, but I always think you need to, to work on a separate layer when you're doing this type thing. So um, I'm going to drag this down and make a new layer, just like that. And then we're going to go in here to Filter, Topaz Labs. You can see I'm kind of addicted to the different Topaz filters. Uh, Topaz Simplify 4. And let's go into Topaz. Okay, here we are in the Simplify interface. And if you've used some of the Topaz filters in the past, you're probably familiar with how this layout works. It's uh, Most of theirs are kind of the same. Uh, up here in the upper corner is Collections. And a collection is basically a group of presets that they've already kind of designed for you. And they're in categories, painting, sketch, pretty self-explanatory. Simplify 3 is the ones from the last version of the software. Um, and so again, under each one is a group of presets down below. And you can see as you hover over one, it'll show you down in that little preview pane what that filter looks like. You can also click on this these little boxes right here and kind of get the buffet view where it shows them all at one time and uh, you can kind of go through that way and decide which filter is going to work for what you want. So I'm going to take this one here, Buzz Sim 4, click on that, bring it back in and uh, you can by the way click on these little stars here to make them favorites and then when you go here to the favorites folder it will show whichever ones are your favorites. So that's just kind of a little uh, time-saving type deal you can do. But we're going to stick with our, our buzz here that we have, the buzz 4. And a um, couple of things on how you're viewing it here. One is you're, you can certainly do this button here and do them side by side if you want to kind of a before and after. I prefer just to view one at a time. Uh, for me, it's just I don't really need to see what the original looked like. I'm just worried about what I have now. Uh, you can always pop back by clicking this uh, original button up here and uh, going back and forth between the original and uh, what you have. Now there, there's the original right there. You can also just, if you uh, click on the image here in the middle and hold it down, it goes back that way. You can also come in here and decide how much you want to zoom in. Topaz recommends that you, you do it at 100% so that you know exactly what it is you're working with. Um, for me, I kind of like to be able to see the overall image when I'm working and then I tend to uh, drop back later and uh, look at the uh, the details if needed. So however you want to do that, totally up to you. But from there we come on over to this area and this is where you kind of get into the more technical end of things that if you want to you can really take this, customize it exactly how you want. Now personally a lot of the times I will generally just use these presets because they've got such a wide variety of presets that it usually works great. But if you come in, you've got a certain look in mind and you're not seeing it, you can come in here and start tweaking these different um, sliders. You know, simplify size. As you're simplifying, basically what you're doing is you're taking away information. You know, if we come all the way here to the right, you're going to start losing all kinds of detail right there where it almost... Um, starts to look like mush as opposed to you come all the way back to the left at zero and you're back to a, a photograph. So you push it that way and you know you can you can tweak the details. One thing that's kind of cool about this is right now we're doing combined so we're affecting the whole image but if you want you can click on these base and edges and you will just be tweaking those parts of the image. So on edge here if I want to bring up the detail and uh, start boosting some of this stuff on the edges, it's only going to be affecting the edges. So when we come back together 
and look at the overall piece, you can see now we've got a lot more clearly defined edges on this piece, not quite as uh, painterly of a look. Um, we can come in here under adjust and tweak things like saturation, the, um, the contrast levels, and then down here you've got kind of your edges again where you can pop these edges up. You can see we start getting a lot harder edges here as opposed to um, bringing that back, getting a lot more painterly type look. So, you know, a lot of this is really kind of getting into personal preference of, of what it is you're looking for. You like super saturated stuff. You can come in and boost these saturation sliders. And that may be uh, the type look you want. And if that is what you like, say you just love way too much saturation. Saturation is super saturated like that. Almost starts to look like a cartoon. That's certainly something you can do. Come back in here, down here to this little gear and you can do save and it'll bring up this list and you can just call this um, super saturation decide where you want it to go I put it in my collection and uh, hit OK now when we come back up here to the my collection here's that super saturation where if you want to recreate that look on a different image uh, this is nice if you're doing a series or something like that and you've got a whole bunch of different images that you want to look the same um, it's a good idea to uh, save that preset and, and use it again. A lot of times, you know, your tastes are going to kind of run in the same vein. So if you like a certain look on one image, you might very well like it on another image as well. So that's something to, to keep in mind as you're going through these things. But uh, again, a lot of times you'll come in here, just grab one of these presets, and, and you're going to be really happy with the result as it is anyway. So let's say we go through, I like this preset here, it's Buzz Sim Toned 1. I'm going to hit OK. Again, you're certainly welcome to make any of these tweaks, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it as it is and hit OK. Okay, now we've got our image right back in here. One thing I recommend you do is Buzz Sim Toned 1. I go ahead and name that with the filter that I used. Because that way, if I want to go back later and tweak something, maybe I decide I want to clone all the people out and then run that uh, filter on it again. You don't want to have to try and remember how you did it if you got this perfect recipe. So um, I like to get in the habit of always naming my layer like that. So again, here's our before. There's our after. Very painterly. This would be beautiful on some sort of watercolor paper or something like that. And uh, again, really easy to go in and take an image like that and really give it a totally unique look. We'll bring in uh, one more here. Let's take a look here at this, just kind of a sidewalk at a, uh, uh, a place in Mexico. And we're gonna go in, kind of give this one the same treatment and uh, try a different type look with it. So let's drop back into filter, do, 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 Topaz, simplify four. All right, so let's try and go a different direction with this one. Maybe um, take a look at some of the painting ones, for example. Uh, a whole bunch of different looks here with the painting. As you can see, looking down at the previews, does a whole bunch of different looks. Really depends on what direction you want to go. I think the um, oil painting, too, is kind of an interesting look. Now, it's not going to give you the same type detailed painting as uh, something like a Topaz Impression that's really going in and, and doing some brushwork type stuff to it. It's going to be a little more of this pattern type look, but it still does kind of break it up. I, I like using something like this sometimes if I'm going to paint an image and I want to kind of do this for my underpainting because it kind of goes ahead and does the the grunt work for you and kind of gets everything kind of broken up and then you can kind of go in and add your flair to it. Um, but going through and look at a few of these others, uh, the impression ones are always nice, the impression color. You can even go in um, with some of the sketches and, and get a really unusual look. Now, again, not every filter is going to work on every image and a lot of these it's going to look strange, but um, there's kind of a weird neon type thing like with the with the crayons it's kind of an interesting type look again not really sure it works for this image you'll find a lot of the times that uh, you end up coming back to these buzz sims because they really are the um, 
really nice. Let's get up here. Let's try one of these. Um, maybe Buzz Sim 2. And I'm going to come into 100% so we can really get a close look at this. And, and you can see what it's kind of doing back here. It's, it's taking this texture here, if we look uh, at kind of this thatched roof, and uh, when we apply this here, it's going to kind of, there you go, kind of soften that out. Still got a little bit of, of texture through there, but uh, certainly not nearly as photographic. Now you're going to have areas like this, as you can see, where it's kind of getting fooled and it's not putting the same color in both of those. So, um, But looks really nice along here. These walls look great. So it's going to kind of vary from image to image, and sometimes you're going to have to go back in and kind of tweak things to make it work exactly how you want. Um, with some of the uh, adjustments over here to the side. But uh, all in all, uh, again, a whole bunch of really nice presets. For me, Topaz simplifies just really a nice way of quickly adding a little pop to your images and kind of taking them in a whole different direction without spending a whole lot of time uh, in Painter or, or something like that. Um, again, it's not a one button miracle type software always. Uh, sometimes you're gonna have to go in and tweak things, but I think you'll find that uh, the vast majority of the time one of those presets will be exactly what you need. So I hope you'll give it a try. In fact, you can try it for free. If you just go to topazlabs.com, you can download a uh, free trial version of this. And if you like it, you can use a coupon code that got set up for the magazine to put in photo master mag 15 and get a 15% discount if you end up buying it. So uh, you got nothing to lose, give it a shot. I think you will find that it's a fun application to play with and it'll help you with a lot of your images. So give it a shot, let me know what you think. I will see you next month.